hey hello guys gve tech here again and uh this is this is this is just explosive this is the new mac mini from apple this is the latest mac mini it has the m1 chip in it uh, apple has moved away from intel chips they now make their own chips and this is the first in the long line of that it's called the m1 chips so this just arrived so uh let's go without further ado just gonna this is the first time i'm opening it let's just peel it all off there have been so many reviews and unboxings on the internet uh but and it's been having really serious serious positive reviews so i'm just gonna unbox this whoa it's not like unboxing an apple device and if you follow me you know my thoughts about apple i love apple products save for the iphone i don't like the iphone at all i just have beef with the iphone from day one i think the first thing that put me off was the bluetooth connectivity issues in the very first one and ever since then i've not really liked them <clears throat> add to the fact that apple is kind of a late adopter to some technologies that android phones have then you know why i don't like them but other things i love apple for this is this is really nice has a bit of a heft to it uh now here comes the sweet part just gonna i'm just gonna yes let's get this out of the way Ooh, look at that look at that baby look at the beautiful baby <clears throat> and let's see what we have this is the front this is where all the uh ports are so i'm just gonna remove the ports let's just just make it Mm. Whoa, whoa, there you go. So let's see what we have. We have the, uh, the power input. This is the Ethernet cable port. We have two USB-C ports, HDMI out and two normal HDMI ports. We have a headphone jack good and we have a vent. So this is the bottom. It just says Mac Mini, nice nice looks good uh let's see what we have in the case yeah what else is in the case okay comes with a cable regular charging oh and yeah since i'm in the uk this is the uk cable uh regular stuff that no one ever reads yeah yeah yeah, yeah. oh they're bringing this back okay this is a large one a large apple sticker I don't know where that's gonna go i'll think of that later so i'm gonna edit this video on it the reason why i got this is because of video editing and because of the reviews i saw and the benchmarks it's really crazy what you can do with this this is the 8 gig uh ram version and 256 memory i'm not really concerned about the memory because when i always use external memory that's fine by me i just need something small and powerful that will replace my macbook pro i use my macbook pro for editing and doing all sorts of things and it's getting old uh it's uh six years old now it was got in 2014 it's a powerhouse but uh you know when if you use a Mac, if you use a macbook or a macbook pro you know it gets hot and you could literally just warm your coffee or your tea <laughs> with the heat that comes out of that and with the migration to the m1 chip apple's m1 chip it means that it's going to be faster it's going to be more efficient power consumption and so on so i'm uh, i'm really geeked to to try this out and uh, see how it goes yeah i'll talk to you guys later so guys uh this is just the device information i'm giving you now on the screen uh my macbook pro and the new mac mini so those are the specs that you can see now the first test i did was the heaven test it's a it's a, a benchmark test that pushes the gpu to the limits it slams uh, all the gpu aspects of both devices and you can see that the my macbook pro is just crawling the mac mini has no drop frames it's just smooth as butter and it just blew me out so out of the water basically uh you can see how how it is yeah the score my macbook pro is having a a, a total score of 366 and the new mac mini is over a thousand one thousand two hundred and fifty seven and it's the, the, the amazing thing is that the new mac mini is reaching a, a, a fps of 80, 83 while my macbook pro the max you could get is 22 or 23 which is just uh, it's just amazing how good 
the Apple uh, M1 chips are. This is just, it's amazing to be honest. Uh, so you can see how uh, a 3D rendering would be like on this new Mac mini compared to my old MacBook Pro. This is one of the reasons why I decided to get the Mac mini because it's light years ahead of what I have now on my MacBook Pro. Uh, the next test I'm gonna be doing would be uh, a streaming test. So I'm gonna be streaming uh, a video, 4K video on YouTube. So we're looking at resolution of 3840 by 2160 and we're doing at 30 frames per second again. My MacBook Pro is struggling. You can't hear it, but the fans kicked in and it went on full blast. It was heating up. The Mac Mini didn't even break a sweat. It, it's, it's just smooth as butter. Only dropped two frames. Two frames, and these were under the same conditions. Uh, my MacBook Pro uh, dropped uh, about, I think it's about yeah, 544 frames at the end of the day. That's what it dropped. And I was just like, you know what? I, I don't even know what to say. Uh, only two frames drop on the new Mac Mini. It's 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 just it's just wonderful. Uh, so since I'm going to be using it for video editing and coding, it's it, it's it's perfect for me. And it's the same RAM, the same uh, uh, what's it called, the same uh, uh, hard disk space. So I'm good with it. And there you have it, folks. Uh, the next uh, thing I'm going to show you is the actual uh, Geekbench 5 scores that. Uh, I came up with that I, I tested on both devices and you would see you can see it here My new Mac mini has for single core for crying out loud 1711 it's more than the double multi-core of my MacBook Pro score. Come on, man uh, That's uh, this is about 500% increase for the multi-core and 300% increase for the single core. So come on, man it's it's a no-brainer for me to get this uh that's what we have here for the other geekbench 5 score it's the open cl score and here you have it it's it's just wow i'm just speechless to, to, to be honest a 500 percent increase in performance on the mac on the new mac mini um and it's and all those scores i showed you just proves why this is so smooth as butter this is the video i'm doing and i edited the video here with the mac mini and you can see for brushing i just brushed the cursor uh the, the, the playhead anywhere and it just plays it doesn't there's little to no lag in terms of playing and all the video files on here are 4k let's just get that straight up 4k and everything is going smoothly so there you have it the new mac mini <laughs> Uh, with the M1 chip is a, is a winner for me. Till next time, guys. See you again. GV, sign out. Take care of yourselves.